everyone, it's Liz here with Sweet Digi Scraps, and I'm here to bring you the 2012 Christmas Blitz How To. This goes hand in hand with the 2012 Christmas Blitz download. <laughs> That's a bunch to say. Say it fast, I dare you. Um, that's on my blog right now. It will be available for the rest of the year. Um, so that way if you have any last minute gifts that you need to create or want to add some personal touches, it will be available for you. Now we're going to go ahead and cover these um, rather quickly because I do believe that they're mostly self-explanatory. Um, instructions are included on most of the printouts. Um, but we're going to go ahead with the small, the simple folding steps. So that way if you're a little bit stuck, you, know, you can, like I said, it'll, and I promise it is really simple. The first thing that was in there was the gift, um, the calendars, the black and white calendar set. You can just pop your photo on the top and print it out. Um, they are, they do come, blah, 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 blah. They do come in the 8 by 10 size, but you can size down if you're printing at home or if you want to make smaller calendars. This I actually created into the 4 by 5 size, so I can put two on each page that I'm printing out. And I will cover um, binding for this actually in a different video because it is a little bit more extensive. So, but just print them out. If you're printing it at home, uh, go ahead and print them out and sit tight. I will have binding for you that you can create at home. Promise. Um, the first thing that's out of there that we can go ahead and cover for the folding and assembly is the crayon box template. They are in templates. Just simply fill it in with whatever papers or embellishments that you want. I chose um, Growing Up Girl Kit. And this is just a little doll that's in there. I made it look like my daughter. <laughs> um, once you cut it, or once you print it out, you're just going to cut along the black lines on right the inside, and you're going to have something that looks just like this. If you're printing at home on regular standard paper, I would definitely suggest reinforcing it um, because regular paper just can't stand this. Um, use either the cardstock, or if you're reinforcing, use, um, like I said, either cardstock or, as I've done, is manila folders. Yeah, it works perfect, like a charm or cereal boxes. Yeah, hey, whatever you have that's like a hard cardboard, and you're going to want to fold and crease with your bone folder on each line, the dotted lines. Um, if you don't have a bone folder, you can use the edge of your ruler, the end of your scissors. All of those will work. You just want to make sure that you reinforce the fold, and you're just going to like this. And once you've done this, it will go. It'll pop all together in this cute little nifty box. The, um, the reason it's the crayon box is because it is perfect size for 24 crayons. However, you can use this to create albums inside or use as a packaging. I mean, it's limitless. But this is the box itself and the assembly. Promise really quick and easy. And that's available on the block. The next is the uh, gift bag or box. Now, there's two ways that you can actually finish this off. Once you've printed it out, this is actually one of the completed printouts on in the download. You're going to print it out and just cut it. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to fold along the dotted lines. I'll reinforce that fold with a bone folder or something you know nice and hard. And it'll fold together just perfect like this. And I said that there's different ways that you can do this. You can either use both handles to it, um, adhere the hand extra handle on the back side. So you have two handles on the top and you have a bag. You can cut off the handle at the top and not use it all together and just have a little box that you can stick things in. Or you can take and fold this over and stick it in the frowny face on the back. Um, and you're going to cut that, just make a little cut with a, a razor blade or your X-Acto blade right in there and it'll, it'll fit and snug. Um, filling this up, I am actually putting Hershey's Hugs and Kisses, <laughs> hence the name, inside these ones for the family. Uh, you can do cards inside there, say, you know, let me count the ways, you know, 10 way reasons I love you or ways that I love you or your coupons in there or you can do gift cards inside here or you can do actual mini albums, you know, put a mini album in there so it pulls out and it'll fold out. But that's what you can do with that one. Uh, the next one is the pillow box. The pillow box is, where is my pillow box? Haha, <laughs> there it is. The pillow box, you're going to want to print it out and cut it out. These ones are fairly simple. This is going to just, once you've done that, you're going to fold the top over and you're going to glue it together. And when you've done that, when you've glued that part, because when you do that, you're going to have something that looks just like this, nice and flat. 
when it's done drying at the top, just make it tube like this. And these parts will, I promise, they'll just glide right in on both sides. And it'll pop in and you have a nice little box. If you want to fill it up with treats, you can, or create a girl, little girl's purse, fill it up with costume jewelry. That'd be a great gift for her as well. So that's that one. And then the last one there was the treat bag that was already pre-done. And the same thing, you're just going to fold along the lines, cut along the black lines. Use your X-Acto blade on the two little eyelet holes here on the sides. Pinch this top together and stick it in on both sides. And it'll hold it all nice and fancy together for you. So that's that one. And then, you know, optional embellishments. So those are the printables. And check out the next video, and there will be some other ideas.